while I'm driving. But um, just kind of reflecting and thinking um, how easy it is to change focus. We've had a couple times now where we're thinking, well, maybe we'll go this road or maybe we'll go that road. And uh, so this morning, again, we were talking, and no, we, we definitely want to, you know, go the, the close, as close to debt free as possible route and, uh, and stick with that. And, uh, I'm not saying that won't change again, but it's so hard to pinpoint, you know, what's the right thing to do when you don't know the future. We're all thinking ahead, trying to figure out what's the best uh, case scenario, and um, that's hard to, hard to say. So, still knocking on doors, uh, that, that changes it as well, knowing which property. Uh, there's nothing really for sale. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's not not a lot for sale. We're actually just knocking on on some doors and putting a bug in people's ears, and so we don't really know what we're going to end up with, right? And that kind of changes the whole ball game as well, because um, well, it's hard to plan. <laughs> you don't know if you're going to get a place for the house or with a barn or with, with uh, both, or if it's just uh, fair land or if it's treed land. Um, it's kind of hard to then focus on what exactly to, to focus your energy on I guess if that makes any sense so um, yeah it's kind of a game we're, we're playing here now it's only been a week that's the other thing we have to remind ourselves is not to rush not to panic you know, uh, we don't have a place of our own we have less to do and it's very easy then to get into kind of a you know a panic mode you know we got to get a place spring's coming uh, spring fever is a big one uh, you know we got to get plants started we got to get a garden tilled we got to you know, get all this stuff going that we normally would do and we don't have land of our own to do that on so uh, yeah, hard hard to to say where to focus our energy on I guess I thought I'd share that with you and also uh, how much how much effort do we put into our uh, our site where we're staying at right now when we don't know are we going to be there for a week two weeks a month two months we don't really know right um, so we're working on a little bit of a duck pasture right now. Bring our ducks and geese home up to the place. Ideally, we'd like to have all of our animals there. But again, how much effort do you put in to a spot that's not really your own? I mean, if it benefits them, that's fine with us too. Uh, but you don't want to invest a lot of money and time. Time doesn't really matter. We don't want to invest a lot of finances into something that we won't get back out again, right? So. Uh, just all things we have to take into consideration right now as we hunt and plan. Uh, I'm actually on route right now to our storage locker. Got to grab a few things to uh, make a bit of a pen for the ducks and geese. We'd like to have a spot where we can lock them up at night, just because there is quite a bit of uh, uh, wolf and coyote uh, pressure in the area, apparently, uh, which makes sense. We're not too far from Algonquin Park and stuff, so um, got to keep that in mind and make that safe for them so that's what i'm i'm off to the storage locker for that and we will build something for them we have temporary fencing we have um, it's just electrified netting that we can put up we used to have that in the garden uh, as well and so we're going to put that up a little spot and there's a bit of a pond there the ducks and geese can swim in we're also looking at getting some more ducks um, uh, yeah so we might pick those up if, if the lady gets back and we might pick those up in the next few days but, yeah, just all plans. We continue to appreciate your, your thoughts and your prayers for us. And, uh, yeah, kind of life is uncertain right now. And then at times we feel overwhelmed with all the things that have to happen or could happen. And then, you know, then we calm ourselves. And, and so it's just a range of emotions flopping back and forth trying to figure out what's best. Uh, and it's only been a week. So um, I imagine that will flop flop some more yet uh, in the coming coming weeks as we search for a place. It just knocked on another door, actually it's an ideal little spot. Uh, it's just a house there, nobody's doing anything really with it. The land's just all overgrown. It seems wasteful to to me, being a farmer, uh, but they're perfectly happy living there and not ready to leave yet. So we won't bug them. Uh, hopefully we can find a spot just like that. They had a nice long laneway with a uh, you know, decent, decent enough house that we could live in, uh, far from the road. Uh, gives you a beginning to start with we would like to build from scratch but at the same time if you can find a house that's ready to go it alleviates some of that pressure of building and we can focus on some other stuff if we have to focus on building everything the first year which was our intent and probably still is um, the chances of making a profit off the land the first year is going to be very very small because our energy will be all focused on getting ready for winter 
so we do need to eat too right uh, it's nice to be able to generate a profit as well we need an income source i guess uh, which ideally for us would be off the land not not by working a job so it's all things we're trying to factor together to find the most ideal situation I think I'm just yammering on here. I hope I'm getting the point across anyway, kind of where we're at right now. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. And here we have some wild turkeys, which is one reason why we chose this area as well, because of the wild turkeys. So they are just coming up to this area. We knew they were here, but they're not here in large numbers yet. I believe they have a hunting season here for them now but uh, most of the locals just leave them alone waiting for the population numbers to go up but it's still pretty cool that they're here now and uh, I forget how many years ago I was told this before but they were re-released in southern Ontario I, I'm not even going to guess how many years ago and uh, they've really been doing well and, and their uh, territory is growing every year so very cool don't look a whole lot different than our turkeys at home I suppose similar actually. to make a path through here and uh, get our get our duck pen ready here so we built a bit of a shelter oh it's so hard to find here let's see well I don't know but it's over there and uh, the ducks can get kind of out of the weather there and be protected a little bit and we are now uh, putting up the electrified netting which is quite fun going because as you can see we are in some thick stuff here hopefully you can hear me with that thing running we gotta go through here, yeah. But uh, it's working pretty good. I got a saw blade on the end of the this, and uh, our brush blade, so it actually works pretty good. I'm probably cutting down bigger trees than I should be. The uh, one-inch trees is no problem at all, but you get bigger than that, it's a little bit more work on her. But it is working. I'm not sure how far we're gonna go. I didn't know how long these nettings were. They must be about 100 feet a piece. And we have two of them, so we're gonna kind of make use of them and um, we'll see how far that takes us. All right, we more or less got that done. All the way around here. And uh, so we just need to tighten it up. I got some of the corners braced already with some, uh, just some twine down to a tree. But we're gonna do a little more yet, just to make sure, and then check also underneath, uh, under the fences, just make sure there's no spots where they can get out or a coon or something's gonna get in. And, and then, uh, We'll get our ducks. It's supposed to rain the next couple of days, so I don't know if we'll, depending on how much it's raining, I don't know how much we'll do outside. But um, otherwise, we're going to put them in here. It'll be a nice little spot for them to hang out 
and uh, I don't know, we'll see what they dig up here. I had thought about getting a piglet or two and putting them out here too, and that'll help rip a lot of this up and um, turn it into dirt, but we'll have to talk to them about that first. So, Plus it gives us some freezer meat later on down the road. So right now I'm going to cut a trail. The children have a trail going from our trailer, our camp here to their farm. And uh, they've been going back and forth through the bush and they wanted me to cut some of the trees and and uh, these raspberry canes, I think is what they are, cut them out of there. So that is what I'm gonna work on uh, this evening before it gets dark. Good morning everyone to a beautiful rainy, drizzly, drizzly Wednesday morning. Uh, we are on our route to get the ducks and the geese. We're going to pick them up and put them in the pasture we just made. Uh, see if they like that. We did have a visitor last night. We'll talk some more about that. And I think we're going to see if we can set up a, something to catch them the next time. So an unwanted intruder to our campsite. But anyway, that's where we're on route to now. It's supposed to drain kind of all day. I believe we're in a warning basically across all of Ontario here. Uh, at least this chunk anyway. Uh, for a good chunk of rain. 15, 20 mils or something. And uh, I'm assuming there's going to be some high winds and such to come along with that. So, um, well, that was a cool looking duck. Those are wild ducks or tame ducks, but I've never seen one quite like that. So that's what we're on to today. And you may join us if you like. Got the duckies home and the geese home. Everybody's home. So now it's time to get them some order and uh, put them back out. The chickens are still up in here doing well. Really like to get them out, but I'm not sure if we're going to do that here yet. Uh, we're going to kind of leave that up in the air. I don't like them in these things, but uh, at the moment, that might be the safest place for them. We don't really want them to get eaten either. So, yeah, we'll figure that as we go. But at least the ducks and the geese, they can go back out. And we're going to work on that now on this rainy day. It is uh, spitting. We're supposed to get quite a bit here, 20 mils, I think. Uh, later this afternoon it's gonna really kick off so we'll try to get them down in their new home and kind of make out the, the uh, fencing down in here and uh, yeah I'm pretty sure they're gonna enjoy that Cool when they find the water. 